It really looks great with the sweater, doesn't it? What do we... <laughs> like some people can just throw them on and they look so cool and I look crazy when I do that. I look like Obi-Wan Kenobi. Welcome to Fiber Love Diary. I'm Trish and this is the channel where I document my fiber arts journey. So you might see dyeing, spinning, knitting, <laughs> weaving, uh, crochet maybe, uh, gosh what else? Maybe some felting. If you can put fiber in it, I'll show it. Except if it's a brand muffin, I probably won't show that. If you watch my channel, you saw me unbox a February Paradise Fibers box that had a, what they called a Sweetheart's Tweed Blend. And it was unreal. I could not keep my hands off it. The singles were spun in like two days. So I came up with this idea for plying. I've never done this before. I've never seen anyone do it before, but the results are like, they blew my mind kind of. And I grabbed a black and a white dye and I threw them and let the universe decide how to ply this yarn. I numbered the colors, kind of like the rainbow. I started with red and then I ended with pink, um, one through six and which works out perfectly, hello. And I used a white dye to decide which color, and then I used a black dye, I threw them at the same time, to decide how many more treadles before I picked a new color. I think that makes sense, but whatever. So I started with colors one and two, and then when I rolled for three, I use that to substitute for one. So I took one out and put three in, and then when I rolled for four, I took two out, put four in like that. So the only thing I did besides that that's kind of weird is I multiplied the number on the black die by 10 and counted the treadles, except for the one, because I thought 10 treadles would be too short to make a stripe that I was really happy with. So one was 100, but otherwise two was 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Just
So all I have left is the leftover yarn. And then this is the inside of the skein. But really, the star of the show is the finished project. I knew that this was gonna create yarn that was gonna like have a shifting stripe throughout it with the colors and the yarn was really, really pretty. And it was like a fingering weight, if anything on the light side of fingering weight. So I was looking for a pattern to really set it off and I thought because it's so colorful, it's like a party, that I really should combine it with another color in the project because if I combined it with something that was like more neutral, it would really set off the party, but it would also kind of subdue the party. I don't know how to explain that, but I think a lot of you are gonna understand what I'm saying. And then also, I really wanted something that was gonna show the stripes. So I was searching through, how I always do, through Ravelry, that's how you can find like tons of free patterns in their search engine and their like ways to filter are so comprehensive. I feel like there are very few things that I've wanted to do that I couldn't do. The only thing I've ever really wanted to do that I can't is exclude certain categories from my searches and I haven't figured, I don't think you can, I haven't figured out if you can. Somebody tell me if you can because I would use that all the time. The pattern that I picked was called Zorzal. It was, I think I paid in euros. So I don't know how many US dollars that was. I just pay in the euros. And it does do the conversion for you, but I can't remember. And um, it turned out insane, you guys. I also combined it with this yarn that I've had, if you go all the way back on my channel, the very first video that I put up which was horrendous. I love you guys for saying I don't have any bad videos. I totally have bad videos. I love you guys though. And it was a confetti yarn. I'm pretty sure it was BFL. Let's see, we gotta make this come in focus. I'm pretty sure it was BFL and then it had silk um, tweed in it. It has been in my stash, well, two and a half years and I had enough for a sweater, but I kept looking at it and thinking like, can I really pull off a confetti cake sweater? I feel like no. And I also had another neutral yarn that was kind of like a, I don't know, like a taupe almost, but it had that shine to it that makes it look kind of metallic. I had them both with me. I was actually watching the local yarn store for two days and I had them both with me and I knew I wanted to use this one, but I was kind of scared because I thought, okay, that yarn from Paradise is so, 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 so much. Like it's so much color, it's so much much texture. It's so, it's not really a pattern, but it kind of is because it's a shifting stripe. And I was like, I'm scared. This is not neutral enough and it's gonna be too much. But I decided to be brave and I was like, I can just take it out if it's horrible. But it turned out, beautiful. I'm so thrilled with how this shawl turned out. Look at this. The stripe, this pattern with the crescents or wedges, I mean it's like a crescent wedge, really really highlighted the stripe I think, which is something that I really wanted and honestly yarn would have been so pretty in a shawl by itself. I was scared it was too much color and texture, but it is not. It would have been so beautiful. That is just unbelievable. It's so pretty and it's huge. I'm gonna put it on with this sweater, even though this sweater's like gonna be a lot with it. Now let me think, how does this go? I'm so bad at wearing shawls and stuff, you guys. That's why I don't really knit them a ton because I feel like I'm so bad at it. I want that color out. I am so thrilled with this, but I have to tell you guys, and this is maybe not gonna be popular. I started this, I know you guys might not wanna hear this. 
I started it Thursday morning of last week. It's February 20th, so I don't know what that was. You have to look at a calendar. So I started it on Thursday. I finished knitting it on Monday and got it on the blocking board the same day. The thing is, I finished so much stuff. Sometimes I think about selling it like on eBay or Etsy. Sometimes I think I should just like put it up for auction. And I feel like one of those really cool men or women who can just like throw things on and it looks really cool however they wear it, could buy it and would wear it constantly and would enjoy it a lot more because I just feel like it never, I never, I'm just, I don't know how to wear these things. There is something about finding that perfect pattern or whatever for a hand spun yarn that's one of a kind and that no one can ever have again exactly the way you did it and finding that pattern that really shows it off as to the best it can possibly be. There's something so about that. It just makes you so happy. Also, like I'm about to call them this, this morning and order some more. So if you get the box, you can order what was in the box prior to it going live on the website. And there were two colors that I didn't get to see because they only sent six and there's eight. I, I'm gonna call them today and find out how I can get some more fiber before like everyone can get it because it'll be gone. <laughs> Keep making cool stuff. Thanks for watching. I feel like my subscribers are the best subscribers. Like, I don't want to brag, but you guys are the best. Keep making cool stuff. Bye.